the brightest star. One sunny afternoon, Dora's mommy and poppy were getting ready for a big party. Dora and Boots were making plans of their own. Boots, I'm going to catch Luz, the big, the brightest star on Star Mountain, Dora told her best friend. I need Luz for a big surprise for tonight. Will you help me? Ooh, a surprise, Boots said excitedly. I love surprises. Sure, I'll help Dora. Great. Let's go to catch the brightest star, Dora cheered. How we find her, Boots wondered. Let's ask Map, Dora said. Map, Map, she and Boots called together. Map popped out of Backpack's pocket. I know where to find the brightest star, he said confidently. First, you had to go over the highest hill. Then you cross the widest river. Then you follow the straightest path to the, to the top of Star Mountain. And that's where you'll find the brightest star. High still, widest river, straightest path, Dora repeated. Let's go, Boots. Soon Dora and Boots spotted three hills. That one's pretty high, Dora obs Boots observed. That one's even higher, Dora said. That one's the highest of all, they agreed, and over they went. Now let's go catch the bright star, Dora sang out as they reached the other side. Beyond the highest hill, three rivers, three rivers st stretched out. Dora and Boots stopped in front of the first river. This river is pretty wide, Boots said. Yes, but we can use these stepping stones to cross over, Dora said confidently. In a moment, they were on the other side. The second river was even wider than the first, but we can use that bridge to cross over, Boots pointed out. The third river was so wide that Dora and Boots could not, reach its, could not see its far bank. This must be the widest river, they agreed. There are no stepping stones. There was no bridge. How will we get across, Boots wondered. Look, Boots, we can ride that raft across the widest river, Dora said excitedly. Just then, they heard a rustling noise. Oh no, do you hear Swiper, Dora asked. He'll try to swipe the raft. Swiper, no swiping, Dora and Boots said firmly. Oh man, Swiper grumbled. Then he snapped his fingers and scurried away. As they got ready to board the raft, Dora noticed a familiar figure in the distance. Boots, look. It's my cousin Diego, Dora said excitedly. Hola, Diego. Hola, Dora. Hola, Boots, Diego called back. Come see these giant river otters. By the riverbank, a group of huge otters was sipping and gliding through the water. Those are the biggest otters I've ever seen, Boots said admiringly. I wish we can swim like that. Then we would, then we would get across this river in no time. Hey, good idea, Boots, Diego said. I bet one of these otters would give you a hand. I mean, a webbed foot, he added with a laugh. Me, bop, bop, Diego called. The biggest of the giant otters swam up, yelping back at Diego. After a short conversation, the otter swam over to the raft and placed his front feet on it. Have a nice ride, Diego told Dora and Boots. Then with a flick on his tail, the otter began pushing the raft swiftly across the river. Adios, Diego, Adios, Diego Dora called out. Gracias. See you tonight at the celebration, Boots added. In no time, Dora and Boots spotted Star Mountain. They steered to the bank of the river, thanked the giant otter for his help, and walked to the base of the mountain. Map told us to take the straightest path, said Dora. Do you see it? Up they climbed, following the straightest path. All around them, they heard a chorus of high voices. We, the voices, sang, Catch me, catch me, catch me. Soon they found themselves at the top of the mountain. Look at all these stars, Dora, Boots gasped. How are we going to find the brightest swan? Three stars soon passed Dora and Boots. Catch me, I'm a bright star, the first saying. No, I'm brighter, said the second. I'm the brightest star. Fall, catch me, called the third star. It's going to lose the brightest star, Dora cried. Quick, Boots, let's catch her. Dora and Boots reached up high and clapped their hands together. You caught me, the star saying happily. Lose. We ride into Dora's special star pocket. It's almost time for the celebration, Dora told Boots. Let's go home. Back at Dora's home, the celebration was getting started. Look, it's all, all our friends are here, Boots said excitedly. It's time for, it's t it is time for the surprise now. Yes, Boots, it's time, Dora replied. Dora cleared her throat. Everyone gathered around, she called. 
Boots and I have a surprise for you. Then Dora reached out into her star pocket. Get ready, Luz. She whispered, you know what to do. Dora tossed Luz high into the air. The shine star hovered there for a moment. Then his spoon. Suddenly the sky was alive with bright, colorful fireworks. Wow, Diego exclaimed. This is a really good surprise. It's even better than I imagined, Dora agreed. Way to go, Luz. I think it's the best surprise ever, Boots said happily as he watched the fireworks dancing high overhead. Adios, goodbye.